Well, there were a few times where um, I ran into kind of a writer's block, but I happened to be playing one of the Moody Blue songs that uh, I, I like, and it, it seemed to connect with me as I was writing the story, and what people don't know unless they actually read the book is I've interspersed 34 Moody Blue songs that helped me transition the story from one chapter to the next, one emotion to the next, one mood to the next. Um, you know, I'm not really sure how I do that. Sometimes, um, you know, again, I, I knew what I wanted to write because the idea sat in this journal and I was able to refine them for years. And so when I sat down to write, I knew what to do. But there was, uh, there was a few times when particular music seemed to put me in the right mind frame. If I, if I needed a certain tone, during a part of a book or you know, a, an act or a scene. It seems like sometimes music would put me in the, at least what I thought was the right mode for the reader to kind of, uh, you know, to get what I was trying to get across. So music was one of them, but the other thing was the journal. Uh, I tap into my own creativity by energy. I, I feel that the more positive energy you put out there, the more positive people that you attract. Um, I tap into my creative juices basically through music, through beauty, flowers, uh, positive affirmations, and visuals, visualizations, making uh, vision boards of what I want to happen. And I've been pretty accurate, 50% of what's on my vision board from years ago has come true. So now I'm at the next step and I have three vision boards later, I have a new one. So. Um, I just start. If I can't think of anything new, any new material to write, I edit old stuff. And I just find that writing actually um, energizes me. It fosters more creativity than when I sit and stare at a blank page. So I do a lot of rewriting, editing. As you guys know, I do a tremendous amount of rewriting, uh, sometimes being anal about that. Uh, but I also like to write new stuff. Uh, sometimes I'll um, get an inspiration and so I keep a kind of a little on, ongoing journal or log on certain books. Uh, others are ongoing projects that require a lot of work. And then if I have an idea, like I did with this book, Suspect Love, if I have an idea but I need something to advance the story or make the story more real, so for example I needed an event to start this book and um, I wanted to look at when there were earthquakes in Italy and so the story is already completed, but I need a front and back end. And so what I did then was Google a list of the years where there were earthquakes in Italy and chose one that would fit. Yeah, I found, uh, I, I think I've always wanted to write. I used to write poetry a lot in high school, and I read a lot, obviously. I've got the big library. But more than anything, um, uh, events in my life have led me to feel that it's important uh, the stories are not my stories, although I'm a part of them, but the, I have spent 30, the last 30 or 40 years working with women, and women have stories to tell, and they have not been told, and they're not always told properly or, or with sympathy or with understanding. And, um, and so what I like to do is incorporate stories that I have been told or stories that I've heard, people that I've met into the story. So, even if they don't recognize themselves, they'll recognize the compelling aspects of what they've been through. Well, it's like a road trip. It's like you're in a car and you know what your destination is and that's what you see and you start driving there. But along the way, you see all kinds of interesting things outside the window while you're on the way to the end. I don't see writing being any different than that for me. As I said, I, you know, I come up with like the general idea and once again, how I tap into it, I'm not always sure. Because like I say, when I'm writing, things come up and it's like, whoa, where'd that come from? Where can I put that in? You know, and you always, you always like to have your radar out. You're listening for a phrase or an idea. Several things in Golden Darkness I would pick up because I was watching TV and, I, and someone had an, an idea or a certain phrase, something that created a domino effect in parts of my plot that, oh yeah, wait a minute, let's do this, let's do that. So, you know, my creative process and writing process is just, having the end result in mind and just being wide open to everything I'm going to see while getting there.
Yeah, it, part of it is a discipline. It is creativity, and there's some days actually you, you would just rather you know not. <laughs> but um, you know, if you've got like a blog due, you know, to, it's got to run on on Friday or whatever, then you just say, I've just got to start researching, and I just start looking for ideas and and. Just sit down and do it. If I can at least accomplish one thing every day, I feel like I've accomplished it. And, and after, you know, when you're used to writing, you can usually put out a couple of thousand words a day without too much trouble. It is a habit. It's, it's a good habit. And, but I, I see it a lot as a discipline. I see it very much so as saying, OK, I'm not going to hang out on Facebook for an hour. <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, do emails for a couple of hours, you know. I'm going to do what I have to do and then get down to the business of, of it. So it, it is a lot of discipline, too. It just happens. Um, I'm constantly creating characters, whether I use those characters or that material or not. Um, I once remember a famous writer saying what he would do is do something called free writing. He would just write anything on a sheet of paper and whatever seemed to be the recurring theme, he would you know, try to focus on that. Um, that's sort of what I do to a certain extent. But the thoughts just come, the ideas come, and some of them, again, are good. He says some of the things he writes when he free writes are good. Some are bad. He tears up the bad and starts over again. And I think I do that, too. I have several novels I've begun that I just haven't gone any further with because I didn't know what else to do with the characters. I, they, you know, I either could, I was stuck somewhere in the plot or disinterested in the character.